Coming back to Dartmoor this morning, I think it's a grey day out here, but promising, a bit cold still, but it's going to be a bit milder this week, glad to say. Uh, right, I, I'm, on the theme of the 70% sky, I'm going to wet the paper all over, it's the Fabriano, 130 pounds. In other words, it's soaking wet. In other words, you don't want the, the water running off the board. You want it just to soak in. And it helps to soften the, the, the painting. And as, it, as the water dries in, into the paper, you can get the lovely dry, dry brush effect. So, a bit of burnt sienna. The palette is lemon yellow, burnt, lemon yellow, burnt sienna. Elizabeth Crimson, Light Red, Ultramarine, Burnt Amber, Plainsway and Elizabeth Crimson. So we'll get a nice, nice strong background to the sky, to the clouds. I tend to put the weight of my clouds on the right, right hand side because I'm right handed so it's easier for me to do that. Not that it matters really. I'll put a bit of blue in. down a bit heavier at the top right my brush has split now I'm going to put in some burnt, uh, some Payne's grey some alizarin and light red with my basic clouds and just darken them up a little bit as you come down to the to the horizon. Now this is where I want the, the dark over this side. And you can put your little clouds in as you get down to the horizon. Don't want to come up too high with the uh, with the mountains because it'll preserve my 70%. Just, right, that was it. Now quite dark here. Um, Now, Dartmoor is a, is a wonderful moor in the southwest of England, with um, some outcrops of rock. And we just come in with some nice warmer colours, cleaner colours. And then we'll warm up, put the sienna in, and the burnt sienna. These are due for the fields, shape of the fields. Some pure yellow. Hopefully that will register, they will register a separation of areas but it's all a bit predictable at this stage so I there was some warm colours in the foreground just so I can etch out some simple rock shapes formations a lot of lot of dark, a lot of rocks on Tarmor, a lot a lot of fields as well. But not a lot of trees. I did think they were knocked down by Elizabeth, to, or before to build the uh, the fleet to to defeat the Armada Britannia. That is a 
Not quite right. So I'll stand corrected on that one unless you know any better. No, I'll just put in these fields. Okay. So I want too much detail in the distance, but I want the detail here. And if, by putting warm colours in, when you scrape the paint off with a card, it leaves a warm bit of whitish paper left, which is quite attractive, I think. Oh, it's just a bit of dark, a bit of yellow, a bit of blue, a bit of red. Just get in there, just to add bits of interest. More blue. Right, that's sort of drying off nicely in there. Okay. Get my card. And well, before I go, I'll just re put the paper. Give it a nice stretch. Now, this paper is very strong. It won't, you can put quite a bit of tension on it before it splits. So, uh, of these tumble down sort of rocks with a stone wall A lot of stone walls on separating fields and The danger is overdoing all this. So bits of rock just falling down and scattered. So just a rocky pathway down here and there. Okay. So far so good. Let's put in some Some fields in here. Oh, it just shine very faint.
Okay. And we want some infill over the, over this side, so just some bluish. Just very faint now, just these little bits of, I don't want to put any houses, I might lift out a few little bits of some dark, but that, now I want to, some nice, nice warm trees. So let's put, let's put, um, what if we put a big tree coming up here, that's a bit of a departure from what we normally do. It's some really good raw sienna, uh, burnt sienna, and some Payne's grey. Oh. They're coming up there, behind that. Okay. Got these nice and warm colours in here. I like to etch out some trunks in this. We'll put a bit of bit of heavier stuff in here. Behind those rocks here. Okay. Well, I've probably have done that, so let's just just obliterate a little bit of it. Okay. So that gives a bit of balance. Um, as does the bit over here, so just strengthen that a little bit. The way to compete and just want it to balance. Right, okay. So, uh, got a bit of a halfway here, so let's just. Now, they seem to be painting this at a very high level. I mean, not of ability, but uh, altitude. So let's put in some, some branches on these trees. Just show some little, I use the same color, blue and black, uh, gray and the brown, leave sienna. Just having a bit of fun with the paint, really, with this this one. It's a bit of dry brush in here. Just roughing up some of this here. Okay. Right. Put a figure in here.
head's just a little bit small. Okay, what do you do? Sign it. Okay, we'll put that in a mount and we'll have a look and see what we've done. If anything, put it in this mount here, see what that looks like. Well, there we are. We've got a, we've got a sort of painting, haven't we? Uh, a little bit muddy here, but this is okay. The parts of it. If I see what you think, I'll uh, just bring you round and have a little look. Uh, all right, okay, there we go. Let's uh, zoom you in. You see the slope, let's go to the sky, see what I've done there. And as we come down, and then we'll come across to, to my little man who just about shows. I might put another one, I think I will put another one in in front of him. Ah, right, there we are. Let's, uh, I'll come out and then I'll just put another figure in front of him, I think, because he's a bit. The, the mount's covered up a bit too much of him. Maybe the mount's just a little bit too far down. But I'll put put him another one further down here. So he's further down a hill. Okay, looks like he's, hopefully it looks like he's going over the hill. I'm over the hill. Okay, so you do. <coughs> Thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.